Hey guys, what's up? It's Gangsboy10 here, and I'll be showing you a quick video on how to mix to get the best sound out of Mixcraft when you're mixing vocals and instruments. Um, first off, I'll say I'm sorry if the video is ahead of the voice because I'm using Hypercam and it doesn't tend to be the very best. Um, I'll start off just going to the mixer. This is a, project, a song that I made already. It's on Youth Nation Music. You can check out that account. It's my music account. But, um, subscribe anyways guys uh, the main thing is when you're playing the song and you don't want to have like muffled sounds or static or buzz the key is to make sure that all these levels don't hit the red if they hit the red that's not going to be good you want it to be anywhere between half about about half way and then below and then the best thing to do is do your first track and like whatever you're doing get the right sound and volume and then you can add effects on it like master limiter compressor EQ or anything then do your next track listen to both separate and then listen to both combined see if you like that and so on and so on just do one by one by one and then like listen to them all at the same time um, that that way you get the best sound now on the vocal track you can I usually put my highs between 9 to 10 just because the highs make it sound more clear and professional. Um, depending on what's what you want, I guess. But for me, that's the best would be the highs at 10. And then you do the volume thing. And it, then after you've done all that, you can listen to it all to see how it sounds. Once you've done that even, you can go to your effects and add compressor, EQ, master limiter, chorus, reverb, auto-tune, anything you want. But uh, the two, like three main things I recommend adding would be compressor, master limiter, and EQ because they give it the best uh, studio sound, to be most professional. And then you can add chorus, reverb, any extra additional effects. Um, <coughs> after you've done all that, a good idea to a good idea would be to go listen to a professionally produced song listen to the volume, leave them for your computer at the same volume, then come and listen to yours on Mixcraft. Chances are Mixcraft will be louder, so what you do is listen to the professional one and then listen to yours and then use this main mix to turn down the volume of your song to kind of match the professional one. Um, you'll see, keep an eye out if it the if your main mix hits the red because it will quite often hit the red because it's all of them combined. So it's generally generally more loud. But uh, what you can do is just turn that down and just make sure it's about three quarters. It's a, it's a good volume. Um, this song was this specific song was louder, so I turned it down to like fifty five percent. But uh, that's just for the song. Could it varies for whatever, however loud your recordings are. After you've done all that, guys, you can fool around if you want songs to do to have some certain parts in one, like in the left ear or the right. You can use the the fader. Uh, to fade over to the left or pan or I guess I should say to pan over to the left or pan over to the right or you can have effects to do that too like delay and everything and then after you've done that you can go to your sound and uh, use noise reduction just to cancel any background noise <coughs> sorry guys and uh, after you've done that you're pretty much on the road road to uh, clarity um, you can do anything else just basically just experiment until you get the right sound it's the best way to go um, so yeah that's the end of this video guys if you missed anything I'll be sure to make another video if you have questions just comment and I will get back to you in a <coughs> a comment or a new video and um, hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to check out my other videos on my Gangsboy 10 account and then comment rate subscribe oh and favorite it's a good thing Subscribe to my account, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll make more fish videos, reviews, unboxings, and tips and how-to videos. Well, it's Gangsboy10 signing off, so I will talk to you guys and see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Peace out.